Hello, YouTube. It's good to see you. It's been a while. I think the last time I was here talking to YouTube, it was still snowy outside. I regret to have neglected you for some time, but I was quite busy, I'm sure, as you all were. With the winter season over, now it is spring here at the King County Signal Shop. And as you can see, our beautiful murals here. Um, hopefully, they're, they're going to paint these over, sadly, because we're getting a remodel at this building sometime within the next five years. But until then, I will get to enjoy them. Um, right now, I wanted to talk to you. If you can take a look here, I've got an Econolite Cobalt controller here. I have classic menu mode on because I guess I'm an old soul. I'd much rather see this than the graphics mode. Um, but uh, you see right now we're running 2 and 6, and then it's switching to 4 and 8. We have flashing yellow arrow running on 4 and 8 with a delay. So there, 3 and 7, that lowercase y is representing the overlaps running our flashing yellow arrow for phase 3 and phase 7 and that is on overlap B and overlap D okay and uh, as you can see this here is our intersection in a box little uh, uh, controller tester but um, you know before I take this controller into the field I'm going to test it in a cabinet back in the lab but sometimes just here at my messy little workstation here at my desk, um, I prefer to uh, program the controllers here and get the work done, uh, including, you know, detection, preemption, all of that fun stuff, and just try and mock it up the best I can here. Um, and here, just to show you a little bit more about this briefcase tester, which is actually kind of an older piece of equipment um, although I do believe they still make them I can put in calls uh, phase calls uh, so I can put in a ped detector call and um, right now you're gonna see uh, the ped is now serving walk is serving and now after the walk phase is up now the don't walk is blinking so uh, we are just testing this controller and uh, you know this is one of the tools that I like to use on a regular basis um, they make all sorts of different inter intersection in a boxes nowadays uh, they are um, even more complex but you could take a look here you can actually do a uh, uh, couple of different things you can put it into a conflict flash you can you can run preemptions uh, enter preemptions all sorts of fun stuff and uh, if you can look this is actually a Traconex 390 placard that they've got on here but these are all just inputs and it just depends on how those inputs are wired on the inputs and outputs as they come from the controller here all jive with this guy here and uh, you know so let's just pretend that this was a TS1 cabinet all would be good and this is how this would run but um, you know if you're running TS2 programming obviously uh, you can mock it up in here and just let your basic timings run and that that way you figure out you got your logic squared away and then, you know, come in here and basically you can change the configuration of your controller, right, um, uh, to be, let's see here, configuration, and we'd go into uh, STLC options, and then you can actually make this into a TS2 type cabinet. You can assign BIUs. Uh, like if you have a TS2 type 1, you would want to um, put your terminal and facility BIUs in and all of that fun stuff. So um, this is uh, 
probably more information than you bargained for. So anyways, that's a little bit of what I'm doing today. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, and I, I don't want to neglect all of you. Um, I do plan on actually doing a, a, a TS1 video that's a little bit more in depth, and that's hopefully uh, uh, I'll have some time to do that within the next month. But um, for now, uh, click like and subscribe, or like, subscribe, okay, cheers.